Such global responsibility as Arendt advocates cannot be achieved by dismantling the institutions of liberal internationalism even further. Such a world, let us not make mistakes, would be one of tyrants and autocrats who now would be emboldened by the disappearance of multilateral institutions and the drying up of international law and would see no limits to the exercise of their powers. In view of world events since the brutal Hamas attacks on Israel of October 7, 2023, and the unfolding of the genocidal war against the Palestinian people of Gaza, and I choose my words carefully, which has gone beyond any moral or political reason of Israel's right of self-defense, I have often found myself conversing with Hannah Arendt. What would she have thought? I'm sure many of you have asked this question. Would she have said, I warned you so? Hard to know. But of one point I'm certain, she would have been surprised, but she would not have rejected the case brought by South Africa and the Republic of Ireland against the State of Israel in front of the International Criminal Court. Perhaps she would have been sad that it had come to this for Israel and for the Jewish people. But it is the legacy of co the cosmopolitan tradition that such institutions as the International Criminal Court exist, not virtually as a court of world opinion, but actually. We could all watch these impressive proceedings and educate and enlighten ourselves about the laws of war among nations and how even under such conditions, human dignity and rights must be respected. Perpetual peace does this not, but why give up hoping and working for it?